My name is Rick Womack, and I am the father of the bride. Yeah. yeah. It seems like yesterday, Abby, that you were just born, and I was holding you in my arms, marveling at one of God's greatest creations that he can give to a mother and a father. As I held her, I couldn't help but wonder what she would grow up to look like, what would be her passions, and what God had planned for her life. All that I knew is that I loved her, would protect her, and I'd cherish her forever. I'm not the only one crying in here, even the cakes and tears. And now she sits here tonight with a new man, a new man in her life that she has chosen to be her husband. And in a flash right before my eyes, my quiet, shy little girl has grown into a beautiful, compassionate, intelligent, and savvy young woman. As usual, you made us very proud today by marrying a very special young man who I know is gonna make you a great husband. Jay, there's three things I want you to remember. First, your opinions are Abby's and she told you you're lucky to have one. Second, never doubt my daughter's wisdom. And thirdly, never laugh at the choices she makes. You're one of them. So here's a toast to marriage and loving forever. Here's to my beautiful daughter, gorgeous and clever. Here's to the handsome young man who today said I will. Let's drink to their happiness while Jan and I pay the bill. Here, here. Jay, I am filled with so many emotions as I write this letter. I am overjoyed knowing that our wedding day is here. There have been so many moments in my life that I've doubted this day would ever come for me. I was scared when we met and willing to believe that this relationship would be different. There was an indisputable sense of stability and security you offered every time we were together. I felt safe with you. I am still in disbelief that I have the honor and responsibility of being your wife and loving you well. I will purposefully encourage you with honest words of affirmation. I vow to be unwaveringly loyal to you. It will be my life's greatest joy and privilege to walk through life by your side as your wife, your best friend, and the mother to our future children. I love you, my darling, and I will forever be committed to you until the end of time. I'll meet you at the cross. All my love, your bride. Abby, I love you and I adore you. When I'm with you, I know I'm fulfilling God's purpose for my life. I'm encouraged by your relationship with Christ. Your faith inspires confidence in me that you will make a great wife and a phenomenal mother. There is no one else I would rather spend the rest of my life with. I promise to keep surprising you with flowers and cake pops. I promise to tend to your needs and desires. I promise to continually lead us to Christ. I promise to pray before each meal together and every time we go to bed. I promise to build us a life that we can be humbly proud of. I promise to honor you, have integrity, and place you second only to Christ. I promise to be yours forever. In life, there's just going to be so many joys that are going to come as we think about through the years. And, and you guys are going to be able to multiply those that you're going to be able to live those out together. But the truth of the matter is, in life and in marriage, there's some difficult days. There's some sorrowful days. And those days, as you'll do life together, will be divided as you share those sorrows, as you encourage each other, and you'll be able to walk each other through those difficult times and grow closer even through that. It gives me great joy. But before I do that, you got to kiss. I forgot about that. That's you need good. to kiss your bride. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Oh, I like Go that. ahead, buddy. You may kiss your bride.